All right, today we're going to check out Zombie Soup. Um, I saw the developer streaming on the uh, Steam Linux Expo uh, 2023. It's an event that's running uh, starting today. Actually, no, started the, the 19th, starting yesterday. Um, I, I believe about a week or so, uh, where they're, they're they're discounting some indie games uh, and allowing some indie developers to, you know, bring attention to some of the indie games that are out there. So this is one that I was just kind of just swiping through. And I was like, Zombie Soup, what is that? Uh, watched the developers talk about it for a little bit, and it seemed pretty interesting. So I decided to download the demo, give it a shot. I believe the game comes out June 7th in two weeks. But let's go ahead and start a new game just to see what this game's all about. All right, you're running from some zombies. That's not a good thing. And we're in a pub. Like we could be safe in here. Okay. That's everyone's uh, favorite place to be Stay in the event of a zombie uh, invasion. And see if we can find something uh, useful. Uh, hey, wait What's for up me? with that backpack? Uh, hmm. Oh. What? Ah. That is not safe. Uh, yeah. Definitely not a good place to store your weapon. It's just in a hey, Ashley, random cabinet unlocked. Yeah, I want to see it too. Come with me if you want to live. Oh no. Uh, sure. <laughs> Who are you trying to impress, tough guy? Shut up. <laughs> Whoops. Looks Oof. like I'm getting on someone's nerves. Is a zombie or a fish person? Ashley, get behind me and head for the stairs. Does this pub have pictures of zombies in the background? And fish people? Alright, reload, fire, grenade, melee. So it looks like standard standard top-down shooters. And, and I guess, gotta kind of explain this again, this is a top-down shooter slash action game. Alright, so let's go back. Hey, where did he get a machine gun from? Why was he excited to find a handgun if he has a machine gun? All right, you can dodge there. Okay, I, f I forgot the buttons already. We'll figure them out as we go. Henry Bar, floor one. That was close. He had a machine yeah. gun. It wasn't That's close at all. Smart enough to follow us up here. Come on, we should keep moving. Maybe we should look for a safe place to get some rest first. You're right. We need to stay alert. There may be more zombies lurking in here. Oh, trying to be a hero, eh? My voice can easily tear you apart. Okay, so the backpack had something to do with this. I'm hoping that the, the full game to kind of explain what's going on with the backpack. Okay, it's taking control from me. Hello? Is someone out there? Please, answer if you can hear me. Can the zombies talk in this game? Because I'm not opening that door if I have a choice. Uh. Yeah, Ricky, I, I, I agree. Ooh. It's probably a trap. Bandits are more dangerous than zombies, you know. <laughs> What's up with that, uh, that voice there? Ma'am, are you locked in there? Good lord, I can't believe there are others still alive. Everyone in town suddenly started turning into these creatures. We're trying to find a safe place too. Can you let us in? Look out, more zombies! Maybe the machine gun fire drew them in. No worries, ma'am. I'll let you in once the coast. Watch out, Ashley. Don't get too close. Just be careful. It's 
Story quest, side quest, and a karma quest. Story quest are mandatory, cannot be skipped, while side quest and karma quest are optional. Karma quest is interesting. I wonder if there's bad and good karma quest. You can open the door now, ma'am. It's all clear. Okay, come on in. Thanks for letting us in. I'm Ricky, and this is Ashley. What's your name? So one thing I've noticed is that this game, it will just take control of your character so far, just in the few minutes that we've been playing. And that's something that's you're, you're, you're playing and then all of a sudden you can't move anymore. And then it, 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 you know, does a story beat or what have you. And I would, I would much prefer that, okay, after you did this, there was a kind of indicator to go to the door and click on it and kind of do that versus taking control of my character. Because one of the things that I kind of like to do is, is just explore these environments. And I, that might be something that's just with this demo, um, where it's kind of just trying to guide you through the experience as quickly as possible. Um, but it's just something that I, that I hope at least it eases up on in the full game. Because there's been plenty of games where I'm, I'm going through, I've done something, I want to kind of explore the environment or go we'll pick up like a secret or something like that I passed by. In this case, it just walks you right past it. I'm Lisa. I'm the waitress at this bar and lounge. Are you alone? No. I was with Henry until he told me to go inside while he searched for some weapons upstairs. Who's Henry? Henry is the owner and bartender. He's been gone for over an hour now. <laughs> if he's been missing for that long, might as well assume he's already been eaten alive by my friends. <laughs> Gosh, you have to help Henry. Don't worry, I'll go search for him. Ashley, I want you to stay in this room with Lisa. Now, we don't know Lisa from Jump, right? Ashley, as far as we know, doesn't have any weapons. And we're just going to leave her behind with this person. Go with you. No, it's safer in here. I don't want you getting hurt by those brain-eating creatures out there. All right then. Lock the doors behind me when I step out. So again, like even the skull guy says that you know there's bandits in this universe, there's bandits in this world, and they're just as bad, if not worse, than the zombies. Again, we'll see what happens. From Henry, that there's some sort of special zombie that took something of his. Maybe you could look out for it if you want to find him. Do you know where this special zombie is? I'm not sure, but I think it's on the second floor. Henry said that this zombie is different from the others. You have to be careful when you face it. Got it. Where'd they go? Okay. Grenades full. Let me look back at the options here because I have forgotten the buttons already. Fire melee, grenade is LB, dodge is A, reload is LT, interact is X, Y swap weapon. Okay. What did I what did I close? Uh close the door? Okay. That would be pretty cool if you actually have to close the door to keep zombies from from coming in. There. Like I do, like I have, I can just get to ram into things and it breaks the cart, the, the crates for me. I don't actually have to attack them or anything like that. Which is pretty dope. Tips is fire your guns. What I don't see, there's no real there's no real aim lock, and I don't know if you'll need it for now, but we'll see. talking about. I do have a machete. And again, hopefully... <laughs> what was this? Pick up. Cool, found a camera. Now I'm looking at the assault rifle there and I wonder if I just if I have to worry about ammunition as far as you know other than just running out of bullets and reloading 
because I... Oh, okay. It's a charge attack. Okay, that's nice. So that one actually takes stamina. I thought that was somebody knocking. That's me walking. Alright, we're going to the second floor. Of course we're going straight up to the second floor. They say there's a special zombie up there. We gotta go check it out. Is that the special zombie? No, it's just a bigger one. Ooh, firework gun or a bazooka. Special gun drops enemies. Press swap weapon to change between special and main weapon. Uh, launches a volley of, of baseballs. I don't know why that's better than my assault rifle, but hey, okay. What's the fireworks gonna do? We're gonna try this. I think I would rather have the fireworks gun than. Okay, what was the. Okay, that was a drop weapon. What was the, uh, oh, why was swap weapon? Ooh, fridge. What's in the fridge? Oh, okay, so we can save, we've rest, it'll reset the map. So it's like enemies will respawn against. So let's go ahead and save. Find and slay crazy fish monger. Okay. So they are fish zombies. I want to try out the machete, but I also. Oh, wow. Okay. Do I have to dodge past that? Let me dodge past it. Yeah, you have to dodge past it. Boss room. All right. There's another boss monster in there. Another? Am I prepared to go in? Uh, Bring it on, yeah, freak. let's do it. That's me. What is that? Okay. Dude has a lot of life. And he's got friends. Okay, looks like I'm out of ammunition. What's he gonna do here? Stay away from me, fish people. Okay. He's got a ton of life. I can't get all the way away from him this time. Get any more special ammunition though. He's got a ton of life. The 
explosives. So you can get in close when he does that. Or run away. So it looks like I don't have to worry about ammunition for my main weapon, but I absolutely do need to worry about it for the special weapons. It doesn't look like the charge up does much, at least for the machete. I wanted to finish him with the uh, machete. So this, this is the exit to the boss room. What's this? Crazy Fish Monster Senior. That's not going to respawn it, is it? Oh no. I'm glad it asked me. Let's uh, go this way. And I gotta dodge past the spikes. I'm just going to save real quick. Yeah, I saw that exclamation point. I wonder if that bazooka is still there. Oh. Yeah, let's go back and get that bazooka. What's that? Oh, that's a plant. Is that another boss room? Or that is the boss room that we just came from? Okay. Let's go back and... That bazooka. And I'm getting paranoid here, so I'm gonna make sure that these doors are closed. I have no idea if the zombies can kind of sneak back in there or not, but we're not gonna take any chances. Alright. My grenades are full again. Do they, re do they recharge over time? I've got 10 grenades, that's a lot. Oh, hey, hey monsters. And yep, they can definitely come through the doors. Nail gun, that sounds awesome. Bad. Yeah, I think I should use this one for the uh, boss. <laughs> no point in my hair, me especially. Move crates. Is this a puzzle? Press interact to latch onto crates, use movement to push pull crates, press interact again to stop latching. Hey. Hey. 
Is there something we're supposed to do? Maybe it's just a tutorial. Floor six. Let's see floor six. I thought we were we were just on the second floor. I was wondering what those flowers did. I guess we found out. It's not a bazooka, it's his base zooka. Okay. But now that I know that there's another one there. Okay, so. Exclamation point drink beer? It's probably not a good idea, but why not? Yep, definitely not a good idea. Zuko. I'm gonna go back and get the other one, which is why I'm using all the ammunition for this one. Oh no. You're dead. Continue. So where's it gonna start me off at? The last save point or at the floor? At the floor at least, okay. Another base Zuka didn't spawn this time. Awesome. Ooh, we'll switch out if we have the opportunity. So besides the visual effect, it doesn't really feel like the beer has done anything else to me, which is, I guess that's good. So it would be nice, so there's an outline for me, but there wasn't for the zombie that's there. And I, that's also the one thing where at least it would be nice if you could see the line of sight, see how completely the room is dark, but it would be nice if, you know, just again, from like here to here were visible if I'm standing here in the doorway, because that's that's where I can see. And the same vice versa this way, where it's like, I understand they're, they're including the vision here. Grenades are full. Okay, so this time we know not to just dodge through that. And now we have to question what kind of person Henry is to have a trap like this in his body. Okay. Well, we, okay, so it just depends on what side you can. So you can't do four corners. So let's do over one. Which is, this is a bit clunky. Yeah, let's try the nail gun. See what that's about. Remember these for construction shoots nails within a force that pushes the enemy back and pins them to walls. That sounds pretty nice. This footsteps, I keep on thinking it's something knocking at one of these doors. Oh, 
fireworks gun. I do like that one. We're gonna continue with the nail gun for a little bit though. Give us a little bit more room here because I'm, I'm clumsy. I know that I'm going to fall if I just keep it as one. This is a very, very tall bar. Absolutely, we're going to save. Let's go ahead and do another another save file. I do not like that. There's claw marks. Wait, I hear something up ahead. I should prepare myself first. I'm all good. I've 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 saved. Let's let's do this. Okay. I I mean I absolutely don't like the claws. Hunk hunger. Lovable bear hugs. Ouch. Alright. Okay. It's a big air of effect there. Didn't see the shock waves. Okay, I saw the shock waves, I just didn't miss it. Okay. It's got a little bit of a combo thing going on there. Looks like he does three. Yeah, he does three of those attacks in a row. Oh, there's classes, okay. You can unlock them with the credits. Some luck wasn't really well from coping as a request. Okay. Okay. Perks, a little bit of a. Not a roguelike, but you can have a little bit of level like system. Okay. Okay. Unidentified. Secondary. Nothing here. Okay. What's this? Pipe bombs. So on a timer, effect is a decoy. I'm not ready to spend some coins yet on that rifle. I do like that uh the, the uh stars and the uh, stars and bars there. Okay. Shotgun. status. Okay. 
Armor reload speed plus 15, mag size plus 3, melee damage 25. Let's do that. You should have had me do this first, before I even got here. Yep, but let's do that. Close. And actually, let's go ahead and save. We're gonna switch away from the nail gun. Wait, I hear something. Okay. Okay, I dodged too early at that point, I guess. It seems like I'm just out of the distance, but each time I'm still way too close. It's almost like there's no way but to get caught by that for that last couple ones that's spinning so fast. And that I think I got hit by two of those. Should have been hit by that, but it punishes you for being too close. And again, that was one where I thought I was out of range. Should have dodged there. The good news is you can dodge through that special attack. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Ran out of stamina. Alright, we're gonna try this one more time. Wait. I okay. Just making sure there's no like a uh, heal button or anything like that. And it doesn't look like I've got any potions or bandages or whatever that I can apply during this fight. But I think as we're kind of getting used to the strategy here, it is something that's obviously it's something that's doable. I think it's that those special attacks, I'm getting hit by these. Oops. Like, we pay attention here. This, this one's my fault. Ooh, that was a fast recovery on that one. Special, dodge through it. That works. 
Yeah, that range on that one is much larger than you would think it would be. They are generous with the uh, invulnerability while you're dodging. I should have dodged. Dodge it. Okay, at the end you have to dodge it. Again, that... It's wild how much range that attack has. It seems to like adjust midway, see? Went nearly half the level for that. And I got hit by that. With paying attention to the little guys. Little guys being relative. What is this? What is this? I need that heart. I need that heart real bad. that time. I panicked. Thought I was going to do a jump. Didn't hurt a little bit. That felt like a lot longer than five minutes. Got my health back. Nice. No, I don't want to challenge him again. Let's go save. Let's go save right now. So, uh, I guess a couple things with this boss is that they do telegraph some of the abilities a little bit, I think, when when off-screen. 
it would be nice to have a little bit of indication he's about to do a special. I think that popped me a few times. But overall, this, this game is actually fun. Again, this is the tallest bar. It's like a 10 level bar at least. Is that it? Is that the whole demo? Oh. Oh. Gosh, where am I? Alright, so let's talk about this one. This was actually a pretty fun game. I actually got, I'm glad I downloaded the demo. A again, for something I just randomly happened to stumble across, they were the developers were streaming live on Steam. I decided to take a chance on it, download it. Pretty fun game. Um, I think there are some minor issues, but you know, all in all, it was, it was a fun game. Um, obviously, I am playing this one through through Proton. I'm on for Dota 38. I did have one hang when I first launched the game, but you know, just uh, quitting the game or, or, or terminating the game with it with a uh, the terminal to the kill nine, um, it worked. Uh, after that, booted up, didn't have any problems with it. This is my first playthrough of the game that you you saw today, and actually, I, I think I'm going to wish this one. I actually don't know how much this one costs off the top of my head, but you know for a very quick indie game, I think it's actually a pretty good buy. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out, seeing how some of the other classes play. I think the demo was long enough to show you kind of the mechanics of the game, and the way that it ended on that fight, where you, you really build up to it, and you're kind of working through trying to um, defeat that last boss. But the, the way it ends right after that is just enough to make you want to check out the rest of it. So demo's good length gives you enough to get used to the game, see how it plays, see if you like it, and then ends with an exciting trailer for the for the full game. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wish this this one, uh, see how much it is when it comes out, and possibly pick it up. So, pretty cool game. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.